Okay, now we have the ZRDR2000 operating. We are uh, just about at almost maximum pressure. So this has been running for about six hours now, building pressure. I just uh, installed it about a half an hour ago. Uh, sometimes it can take up to 24 hours to reach maximum pressure if it does achieve it, but it doesn't matter because as long as the uh, gauge reads, uh, you know, 10, you can operate it. So uh, we have uh, the bubble counter filled. It is uh, bubbling about uh, one bubble per second through the uh, throttling valve here. That's re really what it is. It's a throttling valve because it's just a uh, needle and seat type uh, screw valve. So uh, the throttling valve has been adjusted and it's bubbling away and it's connected with the American Aquarium Co-op uh, airline through a one-way check valve. That's uh, this little uh, doohickey uh, 4000 here that's uh, operating. It's uh, running its uh, route to the back of the aquarium. And the, uh, the uh, buck converter uh, 7000 is uh, operating. It, it is right here. It's uh, running at 10 volts. So that's good. And then in the aquarium, we have all the uh, specimens and the live plants. We have the uh, CO2 checker running. It's going to be hard to catch on camera, but the uh, CO2 system has been running for about an hour. And it is just starting to turn green a little bit. So uh, that's good. We got... Uh, Ms. Nosy here. We got everybody, everybody nosing around in here. We got the uh, black angels and the uh, pandas. All the young fish, they're all curious. They're all, well, they're actually, be, they're begging to be fed, so. Anyway, moving on. And the, uh, I have a bunch of, uh, I have got more plants to come in because, uh, it's going to happen. Uh, some of the plants ain't going to live. Uh, you know, the transition is going to kill them. And uh, be prepared to, uh, you know, buy extra. And uh, be prepared to, uh, to uh, continuously having to uh, repot or do some trimming and repotting so that your new growth will grow in the uh, media that you're provided for it. So uh, everything that's in the pot. Some of it is coming from the bottom, uh, like right there in the center of your screen. That is coming up from the bottom, and the rest of this newer growth, that's all been uh, trimmed and repotted so that the, uh, the new growth has uh, already been acclimated to the uh, aquarium, so it's going to grow with this aquarium. Uh, everything here that's in the center of your screen, that is uh, currently in transition. It is rooting out, so in time I will uh, do the trimming of the uh, newer growth and stuff that in the pot. So uh, be prepared for, uh, you know, when you're dealing with live plants, uh, you're going to have to repot it a couple of times. I just uh, recently acquired this uh, java fern, and... Uh, I just happen to have this nice little uh, driftwood here, and it's got some cracks in it. So uh, Java fern likes to grow basically on the surface of stuff. So I stuff the roots and cracks. So hopefully that takes. And the, uh, there's a couple of little plants. There's three plants. So uh, there's two on this side and one over on this side hanging out. And the uh, water wisteria. I have gotten more of it because some of it has melted and not rooting out properly. So I got more. Probably what I'm going to have to do is uh, take this particular pot out and all the old stuff that I planted in that uh, uh, goulash or whatever the heck that media is, I'll have to take that out because the, uh, 
the couple of stems that did survive, they're starting to uh, leaf out. So uh, what I'm going to do in the, uh, in the near future is uh, cut them stems and stuff that into the substrate. And so I got more water wisteria and uh, there's a whole bundle up here that's uh, just in case I need it. Otherwise, it'll just, uh, you know, hang out in the surface here, just floating around. It'll grow. Got some other plants that I'm waiting to for them to root out. And uh, another bundle there. But uh, getting back to the uh, CO2 system, uh, here is the atomizer. It's uh, bubbling away. It takes some time for that to... Uh, for that ceramic to get uh, damp. Uh, at first it will produce uh, very large bubbles and then it will, in time as that uh, ceramic uh, gets uh, wet and uh, CO2 starts flowing through it, the uh, bubbles get finer. So the, uh, the airline runs up, there's a little gap in the, on the top of the aquarium here and there is the little uh, U-shaped uh, 4000 uh, rim catcher there. So that's, uh, that's doing good. And that is that for the time being. So based on the uh, usage of the uh, CO2 generator at uh, one bubble per second, the uh, monitor here is uh, continuing to uh, green up. I think you can kind of see it in the camera. See how the bottom of it is uh, blue and the top of it is green? So it's working. So uh, one bubble per second is the uh, ratio I'm running at right now. And uh, yeah. So. Uh, this should last about 30 days if it uh, achieves a little bit more pressure. I, th I think it will. And uh, one thing I did forget to do that I overlooked because I didn't really pay attention to the uh, chinglish here is I, I forgot to put the uh, filter on the uh, inside of the regulator that goes inside the bottle. So it has it has one on there. So this is kind of like a pre-filter or a secondary filter or a primary filter, but it won't it won't hurt it one bit. So uh, in a month's time, when I when this is uh, you know getting low, and I uh, refresh in the materials for the new batch of CO2, I will put that. Uh, filter cotton they call it on the uh, inside of that regulator there and uh, keep everything happy so right now everything is working good the uh, ZRDR uh, 7000 CO2 generator is uh, so far a success and hopefully the plants will benefit from it so that's it for this video just keep counting them bubbles. See you on the next video. Bye.